What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that lets you do all of your UV and material setup directly in the viewport. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So you can find this add-on in the Blender Market. I will link to it in the notes down below. Note that there is also a documentation section that shows you how to set it up as well as how everything works. There's also a YouTube demo on the front page. So you can click on the YouTube demo right here that shows how it works as well. And so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that once you install this, that you've enabled Quick UV Pro. It's under Pi Menu, Quick UV Pro, um, inside of your add-ons in your Blender preferences. So again, you do need to make sure that you've installed the add-on for this to pop up. But notice how it tells you to use the B key map in order to access the different things contained inside of the add-on. So basically what it does is it pops up this menu of different things um, that you can do with the add-on. So you've probably seen some of these, but these are basically tools um, in order for you to map the UVs as well as the material size um, on the object. So if you look at this, for example, you've got options in here for things like cube projection, cylinder projection, sphere pro projection, that kind of thing. And note that some of those are pretty basic and they are actually already contained inside of Blender. So for example, if you tab into this object and go to UV, um, you do have some of those options in here like the smart UV project, the cube projection, the other tools like that. So those really, th this is more just giving you fast access to those. Um, the, the real power in this is sitting in some of these other tools. Um, but note that those are kind of in Blender already, but this does give you a quick way to get to them. So for example, let's start by looking at the cube gizmo. So basically what the cube gizmo is, is this is a gizmo that allows you to adjust the size of the material that's on here by editing a cube. So you basically just scale the cube up and down. You can move it around in order to adjust where the materials are. You can also rotate it in order to rotate the materials on the different axes. So you can use this in order to quickly edit your materials that way. So you can also access simpler things like rotate UVs. So if I just wanna rotate those UVs real quickly, you can use the rotate UVs function in order to do that. So that's just rotating them 90 degrees. So in addition though, there's some other cool things that you can do in here as well. So first off, and let's go ahead and jump to another object and we're just gonna apply We'll apply this bas basket weave material to this one. So first off, what you could do is you could tap the B key and um, you could use any of these projections in here. You could also access the project from view, which is gonna project the texture based on your view location. And you can also just go in here and change the kind of mapping that's in here really quickly just by tapping B and adjusting these. And so another tool in here that I really like is um, a tool that's basically designed to help you size materials based on a real world property. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cube project to start off but then what I wanna do is I wanna tap the B key. Notice how there's an option here for real size gizmo. What the real size gizmo is designed to do is it's designed to help you set up materials on surfaces to a certain size, like a real world size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees so that it's facing forward. Well, let's say that you wanted to size these, uh, these little herringbone patterns so that they fit on your face in a better way. So what I might do is I might turn on my uh, wireframe just so I can see this, but I can go to a front view. Well, notice how what this does is this gives me this bounding box that I can move around and I can adjust to use this kind of a reference for placing this. And then I can kind of click and drag it down in order to size it like this, but then I can move it just like regular Blender geometry right here. So I'm just gonna tap the G key in order to move this around. Well, I can align it with this corner and then I can scale it like I would normal geometry. Notice how I can use this in order to size this so that it's fitting directly on this face. So what that does is that just gives me a ton of control over the way that I can place my materials in like a real world, real sized way. And so again, notice how this is working is kind of like a face projection more than anything else. So I might use this for like a floor plan or something like that. And so you can use that in order to quickly set up materials on faces. Notice it does kind of mess up some of the other mapping on the sides, but usually that's not gonna be that big of a deal anyway because you're trying to put that directly on a face. But then there's some other interesting tools contained inside of this as well. So for example, say that I've got the box a box like this one. It has like multiple different materials in here. So I'm basically just adding like all of my wood materials in here or a bunch of them. So let's say that I also had my boards in here. And let's say that I had tabbed into edit mode and applied different materials to different areas. So say I applied the basket weave over here, the wood over here, the other wood, 
over here, something like that. So notice what that does is that gives me a box with different materials in different locations. Well, the problem with that is that makes things a little bit tricky from a UV editing standpoint, um, just because you have to go back in there and mess with the individual areas and other things like that. Well, the cool thing about this, and I'm gonna turn my wireframe back off, is if you tap the B key and you use the modal UV, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to adjust the individual UVs of individual faces separately or individually. So for example, I could scale this material up or down on the surface right here. I could take this material and I could rotate it like this, so I could rotate it like 90 degrees. Um, it just gives me a ton of control over those different surfaces. And I'm not even having to jump into edit mode. I'm literally just tapping B, clicking on modal UV. So there's other options in here as well. So you can use the move tool in order to move these on these different surfaces. So notice how I can move each one of these individually or separately. So I could scale this way up, way down, really whatever you wanted to do. It gives you a lot of control over being able to do that really quickly. So th then there's some other functions in here as well. So for example, I can tap the K key and I can separate faces using the knife tool. Well then, it's gonna let me do the same thing with each one of those individual faces, right? I can rotate this, I can scale it separately from the other material. So the modal UV I really like because it just really allows you to quickly adjust um, the different individual materials without having to do a whole lot of extra UV work or anything like that. So um, if we were to do that one more time and select this, notice how there's a tool in here for fit texture to face, which is interesting as well. So if I hit the zero key, it's going to fit that texture um, from a size standpoint to match the face. So one thing I might've glazed over with this just a bit is note that you can select multiple faces as well and apply different transforms to it. So notice how I can actually take all of these and select them and use the move tool or the scale tool and it'll apply it to them individually like this. So you can adjust multiple different surfaces at the same time as well. All right, so I will link to this add-on on this page. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think. Personally, I think this makes working with materials, especially on more simple shapes, a lot easier, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.